Greetings, NJRoot22.com. This is vlog 15, and this is our, I think, fourth uh, rendition of the supermarket roundup. And we're gonna talk about various things today. Uh, one thing I want to point out, I guess I can get rid of this thing now. One thing I want to talk about real quick is the uh, New Jersey Lottery had some sort of a coupon in the uh, flyers today. And it was a uh, buy one, get one free uh, cash for life lottery thing. You win a 365 grand a year for life. You die before, like in 10 years, you get the, the 10 year balance and that's it. So they limit it out to 20 years. They hope you don't live longer than 20 years. But what bothers me about this is this negative message they send about men. If you had a grand for life, this bearded little millennial here is going to take up knitting. That doesn't sound uh, very creative or, or accurate to me. I mean, what guy, when he has, a, you know, pretty much a decent salary for the rest of his life, would take up knitting? This is a wrong message to send to people. That's all I wanted to say. And next, real quick, before we get into the supermarkets, is uh, we'll do a little quick thing about odd lot, job lot, ocean. I call it odd lot. It's odd. You know, they have their seasonal stuff and, and a lot of the, the things are, are relatively on the shaky side. Uh, we like Odd Lot because they, Job Lot, because they have uh, Bob's Red Mill and stuff. But you should sign up for their, their insider deals because every, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of every week, they have these really good deals for people who are in the club. And you, know, you could find pretty decent things here. We have the, we get good t-shirts here that last a long time, believe it or not. For like, I got them in the past for like $3 and I wear them around the yard cleaning up and stuff. They're a, a good little throwaway uh, clothing item. So that's that. Let's get to our, uh, our supermarket roundup real quick. I'm gonna try, I try to keep these things under 10 minutes and hopefully you find them uh, entertaining. I'll say it again, our main, our three main places we go on a regular basis are ShopRite, Wegmans and I like Aldi. I'm the only one in this house that really likes Aldi, but that's okay. Kings is, is, is you know, we've been giving them some love lately. They had the good, uh, they have some good uh, salt options there. And, and if you can find, buy one, get one free, you're lucky. But the, most of their stuff you, you should probably be uh, concerned with spending too much money. I don't think there was anything. Yeah, there was one weird thing I noticed about their ad this week. On the vine tomatoes, two for five. Two what for five? Two tomatoes? I mean, don't they come in different sizes? Won't people, if it's only two tomatoes for $5, or is it two bun? I mean, how would, it's a little bit, I understand mangoes two for five, but tomatoes, I mean, some are small, some are big. Kind of weird that they don't, they don't sell it by pound. And still, 250 for a tomato is, is a little bit of a chip. So that, that's kind of odd. Next, we'll talk about uh, IGA is Bishops. We like Bishops. We still like, I should add them to my, my list of places to go because we, we, we purposely go there just to support local. And they have some okay things, say Purdue chicken drumsticks. I like the thighs the best. The thighs are the best part of the chicken, in our opinion, because there's nice fatty meat on there and they're very satisfying. 99 cents a pound, that's what they go for every day when, on the family pack at Wegmans, but just uh, if you don't feel like driving all the way to uh, Bridgewater. And they have a good deal on uh, organic uh, chicken drums and thighs as well this week. Buck 49 a pound is very good for or organic. I'm not sure if it's organic or or natural or and all natural because it doesn't say, it says antibiotic free so I'm not sure what the brand is here but that's something to keep an eye on if you go to Bishops and they have a good deal on this organic milk 4.49 is is a very competitive price for organic milk although you can get the Aldi brand for I think three dollars and change so keep that in mind too if your organic milk is a big item in your household and one thing I want to point out our opinion. We hate Marcal products. They're the worst. They, the paper towels stink. They, they, they're just not good. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Marcal brand. Just, uh, that's just us. I mean, don't be misled by the low price. It's kind of a really substandard product. Oh, and they have some strawberries at, at Bishop's for four bucks. Organic, that, I guess that's a good deal. You always want to buy organic strawberries because I believe they're one of the worst pesticide holders out there. Earthbound Farm organic salads also were cheaper at ShopRite last last week. Uh, they were two forty nine dollars or two fifty dollars a package. But you're only counting pennies and dimes here. Cinco de Mayo, that's gonna be the theme this week and uh, next week or this week only, I'm not sure. Yeah, this week, Cinco de Mayo falls on a Saturday. So everybody's gearing up to become Mexican for a weekend. They have all sorts of salsas and cheeses. ShopRite cheeses, like usually a buck 77. So keep that in mind if you like to shop at ShopRite. 
And here we are with Stop and Shop's private label brand. We talked about that last week if you want to hear more about that. Pork loin, that's a good deal. I like it. Buck 59 a pound. Slow cook it, sear it, you know, 250 for uh, three hours, and it, you have pulled pork ready to go. We love it. We love pork. We did a story about pork recently. It's uh, the best meat. There was something in the news lately about people getting sick from romaine and now all of a sudden it's on sale everywhere. You might want to avoid romaine lettuce for the next month or two. That's our opinion. We, we, we like our arugula. That's our favorite here. Stop and Shop doesn't have much going on this week. We, we went on and on about them. I'm a big, big fan of calculating the square foot the price per square foot for all paper products. This six versus eight, 12 equals 24 nonsense is too many people just don't get it. You just bring a calculator, divide the cost by the number of square feet and you figure it out. Never pay more than two cents a square foot for paper, toilet paper. And you can do the math. I mean, obviously some you use more of some kinds than others, but pay less than two cents a square foot and you're right. Like the other day I was at ShopRite and I got a, like a six pack of this mega roll Charmin or whatever it was and it came out to 1.7 cents per square foot. And I looked at the mega pack, you know, the mega pack with 50 rolls in it or whatever, and it was like 2.9 cents. It was almost it was almost twice as much per wipe than the smaller pack. So be diligent and do your math and you'll figure out a way to get more for your money. And here's another thing about plates, paper plates. Never buy the heavy duty ones, uh, unless you're having a party and, and you can't monitor. But when you're at home and you're using paper plates, if you want a heavier duty one, just use double or triple up on the plate and when you're done, just throw the top one out and keep, put the other two back. You have heavy duty plates without having to pay more for them. That's a little tip for you there. And now we're gonna go on to ShopRite, which is our favorite, well, favorite, but most, not necessarily favorite, but most used because of the number of locations they have. And what bugs me about ShopRite is that they have a lot of junk on the front page, sodas and, and this garbage Entenmann's and cookies. I, I don't know, I, they're an enigma to me too because they have organic and healthy and they want to talk to you there but then they cater to, to the people that gobble this stuff up. I guess they have to have, wear many hats at, at this supermarket. And they got uh, avocados, four for $3.20, $3.16, uh, six for five but uh, you can only buy four. And they, they limit your avocado consumption. So that's that's one thing we... Avocados are always uh, on, on, the, on the page here. And here we got the, the or organic salads, three bucks. That's an okay price. You can get it cheaper. Three bucks is usually a, like a decent signal that it's okay to buy them when, when you want without driving around and wasting gas trying to find uh, something for a nickel less. What else do we have in ShopRite this week that I marked? Uh, there's more Cinco de Mayo. You know, everybody's gonna be pretending to be a, a different uh, culture. ShopRite cheddar cheese, I like it, it, it works. Uh, I'm not a big fan, there's certain cheeses I don't like. Their best cheese in general is the whole milk mozzarella. It, it really works. Or the two cheese pizza, not the four cheese one. For some reason, I, I like the two cheese one better. It melts better. Um, that's our experience. Oh yeah, here's, a, here's an interesting deal here uh, for Procter & Gamble. It's, it's a bunch of mostly stupid stuff. Cold medicine, fiber, reusable Swiffer dusters. I'm not a big fan of that. It's, it's just a consumable model. The Gillette model where you just have to refill and they have you for a customer for life. Use a mop. A regular mop, you're better. But something here, it's like you buy 30 bucks worth of uh, products from this list here, and you get a $10 PayPal credit back. This is good, because you can stock up on paper products. These Charmin products are really good, actually. It's $4.99 a, a, a pack, and you get a dollar if you get the Sunday paper, another coupon. But you can buy like four of these, and two of these, and one uh, bounty napkins for 32 bucks, and they'll give you 10 bucks back. This, this is worth uh, doing if you want to stock up. So it ends up being only $20 for a whole, lot of paper products that last you a long time. So that's something to consider as a, as a value added uh, proposition for your sh weekly shopping, shopping trips. Oh, here's something interesting I found. <laughs> Lady shoes. Well, why? Who buys shoes at the supermarket? I mean, I don't understand. And they got the pet food. I'm not a big fan of the brands they have. You can find some okay brands, but when we use like the higher end brands like Merrick and other ones, you can, at the same time, you can go to Aldi and get like a 20 pound bag of dry dog food for $8, made in the USA. It's not grain free, but it's, if you really are like having a, a hurting time with your bank account, that's a definitely a good place. And here's an excellent deal on organic milk at ShopRite, Wholesome Pantry. We found that at the creamy, it has a slightly different texture than some of the other milks, but they, that was uh, many months ago, so they, they might have improved the formula on that. Here's another thing I, I, I noticed at, at major supermarkets. Not everybody likes to use fluoride for whatever reason. You look at their, their, their toothpaste 
uh, selection and 98 or 99 percent of the of the options have fluoride in it you'll find one or two I think Tom's of Maine might have one shopper should really start thinking about doing more fluoride free options for for toothpaste there's a there's all these new things they could capitalize on it instead of sending the money to the to the internet webs of uh, of Amazon and, and so on they should do uh, more fluoride free stuff oh yeah one other thing along with the Cinco de Mayo stuff uh, you can get a buck off uh, any six pack of me uh, Mexican beer uh, like a Corona or or whatever those other brands are at the ShopRite liquor stores. So that's, if you want to save some money, pay attention to that. And that's it. I'll see you on, uh, we already filmed vlog 16 and vlog 17 will be the next one. Have a nice weekend, everyone. Mm -hmm.